think about him or your affections on him or is your affections on your lust? What is your affections on? What is your passion in? What is your zeal? On yourself? On your, on your glasses? On your hairdo? On what you're going to buy? How you look? What is your passion set on? Oh, life is in Jesus Christ. If you have the Son and you are born again, you've repented, you've received Christ, you have humbled yourself, you have confessed your sin, you've come in humility in Christ. Jesus Christ, the God-man, will set you free, set you free from the wrath and the anger and justice and punishment of your sin. You've sinned against God. Life is in Jesus. He who has a son has life. Do you have life? Do you have the son? Are you born again? That's the good news. That's the love of God. He who has the son. But he who has not the son, he who has not the son has the wrath of God that abides against him, abides on him. Do you understand the wrath of God is the anger of God? The anger of God that abides upon the children of disobedience. Let no one deceive you. Let no one deceive you that God loves you and you're is revealing to you that you're a sinner and you're practicing sin and you're serving. No, no. You this is exhibit A. This guy goes to church every Sunday and he's sitting here flipping me off. Is this the evidence that he is a Christian? No, it's not. No, it's not. He's not a Christian. That, that fruit is rotten. You don't flip off another man if you say you're a Christian. You're supposed to love your enemies. If I am his enemy, which I am a Christian, and he's supposed to be a Christian, so oh, then we're people. supposed to know gay people are not Christian. Homosexuals cannot be a Christian. Do you love your no, enemies? if you're a homosexual you and that enemies? you say you're a Christian, then you're no longer a homosexual. I, I have lots of friends, friends that have been homosexual sexuals and have been changed wait, wait, wait. changed by the power of God and become oh. normal it's a perversion it's do demons love, do you love homosexuals yes I love homosexuals then why but I ain't gonna have sex with them I'm gonna tell them the truth that's okay love is telling the truth I tell you the truth homosexuality will send you to hell I'm concerned about my neighbor my homosexual neighbor then why don't you say you're in San Francisco why don't you say you're love? in you're why don't you in say Sodom it? and Gomorrah why don't you, say do you understand one out of five I have HIV you on the street that's that that's on the front page of the paper yeah. I'm telling you it's true it's true oh I'm warning you of the coming judgment upon San Francisco I'm warning you your sin will find you out old man your sin will find you out that's why they call them dirty old men because when you get older and gray hair you do you do things that are ungodly unholy and God is watching oh I know it's wicked it's wicked I agree I agree Hey, so if you love homosexuals... Yes, I'm concerned about the homosexual. You're concerned. Why don't you just say, I am concerned? Why are you yelling at us? No, I'm preaching. I want everyone no, to hear no, down no, the no. street. I want everyone you're to hear yelling. three miles. Uh, uh, well, I, I am concerned. I am concerned. It's not... I'm not yelling. I'm passionate about... I believe something. I, I, I have a conviction. Yelling. There's a zeal in my life Ask that the homosexual is on the highway to hell. If you ask these people like no, oh, that's why the freedom of religion, the freedom of speech. If you take away my freedom, you take away your freedom. Do you understand? I think I think the music over here is too loud in him playing. I, I think I think the guy that was cussing over here, yeah, that was foul in the presence of children. Okay, that guy's the only one that likes what you're saying. No, I don't care if none of you like it. You know who loves it? Jesus Christ loves it. God loves it. It's the preaching of his gospel. You should have heard George Whitfield back in the day when he preached, he was heard for three miles. Oh, I bet you people were upset at that. You're spreading hate. No, I'm not. I'm spreading love. I'm telling you the truth. Love. Love. The love of God. Now we have a racist. We have a homosexual, then we have a racist. I'm not a homosexual. I'll tell you, we have a dirty old man we have a race of truth is it? yes jesus christ is the truth oh, i'm yeah. proclaiming to you christ only christ it is by him through him in him everything circles around jesus christ not around joseph smith oh not around allah not around any uh, buddha that fat guy and not around any of these other things it's around one man who rose from the dead it's about his word that is living powerful sharper than any two-edged sword and reveals to you your sin 
your sin. And about out of those seven billion, two hundred thousand are going to heaven. Probably even, probably even narrower than that. So there's gonna be if eight people were saved in the day of Noah, when the flood came down and destroyed all those people, oh, I tell you, it's narrow. Narrow is the road. Difficult. Few are those who find it. I don't know if you're going to find it. So I don't like, know if you're going like to enter in. People in heaven? Hey, there might be. God doesn't need anybody in heaven. God doesn't need us. See, that's your problem. You look at the people and you think that God needs these people in heaven. God doesn't need you in heaven. Why don't you go to hell? No, he makes a new heaven and new earth. God makes a new earth. The righteous dwell on it. No more wickedness. No more rebels. No more monsters of iniquity. You know what a monster of iniquity is? Oh, it's you. A monster of iniquity is when you take the throne of God and you do what you want. You sit on the throne and you rule. Every, we got a bunch of little gods here. Bunch of little gods and everybody's in control. You're God. You're in control of your life. You govern your life. You do what you want. Yeah. And you think you're not going to be held accountable for anything that you do. That's you lie to people. You steal from people. You look at pornography. You, mass, you do all kinds of things that are wicked in the sight of God. You know, now, now, no, no, I used to. I'm forgiven now. I stop. I get the power of God not to do those things. So and you can receive. I do whatever the fuck I want. Say, Jesus, forgive me, and then I'm free. Yeah. Guess what, though? What? You don't know if your heart's going to stop beating right now. Your soul could be required of you right now. We can have an earthquake right now. You, you're not ready. I am. I'm ready. I live in San Francisco. I know there's going to be an earthquake here. I live on the fault line. San Andreas. Oh, yeah. Hey, I don't fear death. I, I'm, I'm saved. I have hope. I have a future. I have a destiny. God has given me a promise. You don't have any hope. You have no hope. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inherit the earth. I'm going to be living on the earth. Oh, it's going to be beautiful walking with Jesus. Oh, no one Jesus. No more ripping. No one, no one ripping me off. Oh, no one lying to me. No more sin. Can you imagine living with no more sin? The love of God just floods your heart. You love everyone. Oh, you trust everyone. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. I want you all to be there. I want you all to get a vision. I want God. You know Jesus. It's good. Hey, we got another Christian here. Hey, we got another one. There's another one. There's one there and one here. Oh, I'm excited. You three. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. Oh, excellent. There's another one right there. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I will say they're living in San Francisco. There's very few. Very few. It is hard to be a Christian. It's the hardest thing in life. Huh, you gotta battle all kinds of unseen forces. They come into my mind. Oh, they attack me. Oh man, I wanna be faithful to my wife. I wanna I wanna love my wife. I wanna nurture my kids and all kinds of things try to take my time and romance and huh. Where are those things? What what causes you to do that which is ungodly or wicked? The principalities and the powers of the air. God says what you see is only temporary, but what is invisible is eternal. There's an invisible realm. There's an invisible realm that does things, does things to you, perverts, twists, lies, deceives. This is a perfect example of this pagan holiday. A perfect example is you deceive your children, tell them they're Santa Claus. Tell them there's a reindeer. Tell them all these lies. Perfect example of the Roman Catholic Church created a pagan holiday that you, that you, unbelievers, the wicked, the ungodly, celebrate. I don't get it. I don't understand why you even celebrate this day except you love money. You love materialism. You love covetousness. You love, you love the thrill, the moment, the feeling. Oh, you have to escape the guilt, the pain, the wounds, the scars, the insecurity, the loneliness, the emptiness of life. You got to escape it. You got to escape the pain. When God says, I will take the pain, I will set you free, I will cleanse you, I will love you in a way that you have never been loved. Jesus Christ will love you in the way. Father, raise your children. Grandfather, raise your children. Read the Bible to them. Tell them the truth about Christ. Tell them about eternity. Tell them that every single man and woman is going to live forever. The Bible says everyone lives forever. Everyone, eternal. Whether you live in hell, weeping and wailing, or you live in heaven, you're going to live forever. Where are you going to live forever when you die? Father, you need to raise your kid. Raise your children. Tell them about Christ. You're responsible. Man, I'd hate to be you, Father, when I stand before God and you have not told your son 
your son about their sin. When they 